Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. wait for the perfect time and attack. Hey guys, it is the... Raw wrap up. What show is it? It's Monday. That means it's the Raw wrap up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here with you guys on the Facebook Live. Hello, guys. Glad you could join us out here today. Also with us, he is the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor lever letter from the uh, from the I have to say the WWE Network from the WWE. He is from Poughkeepsie, New York. He is Mad Mike, and he's not. I- <laughs> <laughs> I was so quick setting this up and I wanted to make sure our guest is here. I didn't even I didn't even like get your camera appropriately lined up here, but that's okay. We got you now. You're here. What's up? What's up, man, Mike? Uh, uh, Sorg. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're that Sorg, great about Raw tonight. Revolution. Women's Revolution where we get a three and a half minute main event, you guys. Mm-hmm. Women power. Viva la evolution. That's called equality. But with us, I got a special. Okay, you make a cameo here, Larry. I know you haven't seen him on the show for a while. Larry's here, guys. I'm, there he is. I'm still alive. He's still alive. Still alive. He's doing. Sorry, he's doing. Yeah. He's standing wood in the basement. He's uh, doing things. Here, I don't know. He's bespeckled. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on there. Larry, Larry, how 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 much of Raw was watchable for you tonight, or how much of Raw did you watch tonight? Right there. I saw all of the main event, so about two minutes. All right, he's good. He's ah. good. He saw the important part. That's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> Mike is Mike loves the theme song. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, uh, yeah. I don't know if love would be really the. Oh, you keep saying it a lot, like you're a fan. But oh, oh, oh! I all right. I'm sorry if that's how I came across. No, uh, no. Let's, no. Let's, let's turn no. it back around for everybody. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, so, Larry. Uh, good, See you, Larry. Have fun in the basement. Although, right. if you think about it, Ronda Rousey's theme song is extremely fitting for her because she doesn't give a damn about reputation. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so already in the chat she'll, room. She'll throw people on the face in the main event of Raw. <laughs> we are live on Facebook Live on the Wrestling Mayhem Show page. And, of course, uh, uh, shout-outs to Dave Wheels and Sean out there. Ronda looks terrible in the ring. Botches moves. Ah! You won't um, get it. it was let's talk about that. So it was a main event, Alicia Fox. We we had our our long eulogy for Alicia Fox, who didn't even get to come out to her own entrance music. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. She doesn't give a damn about reputation. And we did not bring up the Noam Dar era of Alicia Fox. No, nope. her... or or the wedding planner era of Alicia oh, Fox. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. That or was the era of Alicia Fox where she stole JBL's hat. And mm. damn, like she's kind of in the same era. Not really. Just less. Not hats. really. Yeah. 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 I, I, I miss uh, Alicia Fox. But so. Brandon says that you lost your bet officially tonight. Uh, th- I don't think that really counts. <laughs> that's like a saying, match. That's like saying Goldberg and, Bro- and Goldberg and Kevin Owens had a match. Uh, by yeah, by I mean, there there was a beginning bell and an ending bell. I'll give you that. They did more than that. I thought she was just going to get. She did not take a bump. Okay. What the fuck are we doing? We are getting the ratings up. And making me want to order Pizza Hut all night. What? I don't think the ratings are going up. We'll see. We'll see. It got some yeah. buzz. Sorry. Sorry. Sure. We got T minus a month until football. Well, either way, either way, it seems that WWE uh, cares about the UFC's reputation between Ronda this week and Brock last week uh, ending the show. So there's that. Yeah, and, and Lashley. Don't forget about Lashley. And Lashley. Yeah. Well, he wasn't UFC. He know. was Bellator. It's the same. Yeah, thing. I guess it is now. Trip. Yeah. 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 But anyways, also thing I learned in wrestling this week, a little bit early UFC has a hall of fame. Yep. Hmm. Wonder where they got that idea from. Oh yeah. Cause yeah. I don't think it's an actual building. <laughs> they could be, where would you put that uh, building? It has to be in Las Vegas. Yeah, it would have to be in Vegas. So like, where else would you put that? Um, so in be- in between the one lazy river and the other lazy river. Uh, speaking of which, I am making plans uh, later this month to go to Cleveland, 
because I've never oh, been to the why? rock. I've been, never been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> okay, that's all right. That's and I intend to go to the rock, rock and Roll Hall of Fame and walk where Elias walked. Well, yeah, that's, his wing should be done by now. They, yeah, it should uh, be. They, they filmed that a while ago. Yeah, that so. was like from like back in March, February, something like that. It's yeah, got to be done yeah, by now. Right, right around WrestleMania time, so that should be done. I'll, yeah, I'll see if I can ask around about that. Uh, mm-hmm. But anyways, uh, do, 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 there's another one. So we got Roman. Roman had a match with mm-hmm. Baron. Can I say? Can I say? Mm-hmm. I really like this Baron Corbin. I think Baron Corbin is in the well, zone. Baron Corbin at- right now is great. He settled into the Chief Morley role very nicely. <laughs> but he's he's a better he's, Chief Morley he's than Chief Morley. Stretched out Chief Morley. He did. He, he's he did. Chief, no, he's Chief Morley in a taffy puller. Mm-hmm. That's that's what we're dealing with here. Because he, because he's not really corporate Kane. Because oh. He, didn't wait wait didn't chief morley val venus for those that don't don't know didn't he also recently lose his hair by then yeah, yeah he did oh wow There's... this is what i'm saying he's literally a stretched out chief hold morley. on hold that's on that's why that's why his button down i'm shirt seeing something about best. like needing to be um a a second in command after losing your hair mm-hmm. yeah you have you have to be bald to be a second you have to be bald to be a second in command Mm. That is that is just a rule, mm. um, because you have Chief Morley, you have Corporate Kane, you have Constable Corbin. Yeah, you had Teddy, you had Teddy Long when he was the assistant to um, John Laurinaitis, who was also a bald man. Man, I forgot how many pictures are in the WWE rulebook. And um, remember, remember when Eugene was Eric Bischoff's nephew, mm-hmm. and he and he had his head shaved. Yeah, See, I'm telling you, it's all a rich it's tapestry. It's a power play. It's a power play. I Interesting. Hear that, or we don't have a lot of ideas. Speaking of not a lot of ideas, uh, we had Roman. I said in that match, sorry, <laughs> match. Uh, we had an interview with Roman, and then Roman was almost in another match to make you turn off the TV a little quicker. Mm. Like, are they trying to? Uh, I, I don't even know what they're doing with Roman. Like. Just he didn't even come out for the save no. after the tag match. He wasn't allowed to. You know to. why? Because Roman is a dickhead. Yeah. He didn't even come out for the save. They didn't remove after. him. They didn't do anything. Like there was no nope. explanation like last week. Yeah, yeah. Like last week there was an explanation. Okay, fine. You know I who should have came out? You know who should have came out for the save? Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze. Yeah. Tyler Breeze should have come out for the hot tag. Imagine Tyler Breeze getting that hot tag, hit a beauty shot on Dolph Ziggler, super wild kick on Drew McIntyre, and then he gets beat really quickly. Hmm. But you know that that's Seth Rollins' fault. I put that on Rollins. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If only, I, I, if only the rest of the Shield. If only he was some. If only he was some kind of profession that was good at making plans and following through on them. Some kind of. Oh, what's the job? An architect. If only he knew some kind of architect and wasn't just concerned with burning things down. He's been, yeah, he's been, he, yeah, architect to arsonist. Still in the A groups, but still. Arscontect. Mm. He builds it up and he burns it down. Yep. I think yes, that was the promo, um, actually, that that turned that, but. Yeah, it pretty much was. Um, oh, God. I, Sorg. Sorg. Can we talk about the only good thing on Raw? Ruby Riot coming back? Okay. The second good thing on Raw. Okay. Right. okay. Ruby, what was Ruby that? Ruby Riot coming back is great. It's great. Um, I was really dishev- happy about that. Disheveled Paul Heyman. Oh, geez. Can we talk about Like, dishev- Okay. We're sitting there and we have Renee actually like, that's Paul worried. Heyman after he watched the finale of The Bachelorette and he was just in tears. If that is <laughs> if that is not a backdoor pilot for Renee Young getting her own Dr. Phil style um, um, television show, I don't know what is. Mm-hmm. I, uh, Paul Paul Heyman, but she would have to have Paul Heyman on every week because the, otherwise. Well, I think the, no, it's just another WWE superstar crying that can act as well as Paul Heyman. Mm. Have you seen some of them try to cry? It's true, especially the the ladies do not do well with the crying. Charlotte does, but not when you're supposed to. Yeah, but that runs in the family. Mm, not really. 
when Ric Flair cried, he knew he was going to cry. He didn't even play it out with a tear in my eye. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Um, the wheels, we are not booping in this show. That is for another show. Um, geez. Boop, boop, beep, doop. By the way, there was some discussions last night about what we're going to do for this year's Christmas episode. Oh, that's only a few months away. Yeah, it is. Oh, boy. And my, guess what? My body's not I'm ready. Not, I'm not going to have a retail job. Guess who's going to be drinking, motherfucker? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, Sorg. Anyways, uh, anything else from Raw that uh, stuck out for you? Uh, can we t- can we t- have a have a, a moment about the new WWE Shop side scroll? Oh, no, that's it's, been around for a couple of Has it been? Have I not trust noticed that? Sorg, trust me. Ugh. It's been around for a couple of okay. weeks. <laughs> because. Right. I may or may not have to take note of that every time it happens. That's right. He is. Uh, Band Mike is the most meticulous of watchers of I Monday am, Night I Raw. Am, I watch it very closely. Very, very closely. closely. I, t- I take intricate notes. Intricate notes. I, I'm a, I'm a master calligrapher. I don't think that's applies. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, okay. Sure. It All works. right. Jeez. I, I practice my cursive. <laughs> but uh, yes, um, those those are those are interesting side graphics. I'm trying um, to. I'm sorry. I'm trying to process this one comment. Alex is saying, "Guess who got a girlfriend from Jury Duty? Did you like find a girlfriend in Jury Duty, or or was this person on trial?" Either way, I think you need to start a podcast. Anyways, you know um, what? He's a Capitals fan. He has questionable judgment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sports puck jokes. This is the uh, wrong show for that. This is the wrong show for that, Mike. It's the sword. Not much happened on Raw. Oh, all uh, right. Sorg, I have, a, I have a question for you. Yes. I need to know your honest opinion. The new B team song, yay or nay? Nay. Absolute nay. Yeah, okay. All right. Although I, I'm kind of hoping it's a different B team song I'm, every I week. Wasn't, I wasn't sure if we'd be in agreement of that, but. Ooh, that's like, trying too hard. I that's like trying too hard. I liked how last week it was like a throwback to the like really bland like uh, uh, Nexus songs, right? Like yeah. the core well, and Wade Barrett it had. It was Curtis Axel's old song after the Social Outcast, but before the Miztourage. Hmm. Actually, no, it was no, it was even before the Social. It was before the Social Outcast because after Social Outcast, he used like the Mister Perfect theme. That's right. That's right. Like the remix version of it yeah. uh, with Curtis Axel. I don't know. I yeah, Wow. Social Outcast. So he's kind of like rehashing. Well, I guess he never left Social Outcast. Well, him and Bo were Social Outcasts. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. Everything old is new again. Mm, that's true. It's almost like I'm rediscovering some of these things sometimes. Sort of. Sometimes. Yeah. It's almost like that. It's weird. Wow. And Ronda Rousey seems really sadly familiar to 2017 Goldberg. <laughs> Only it's like in reverse. Similar playbooks. There's a good botch spot um, comic this week about uh, with with a, it was something about with a writing room with 20 writers. How is it that all the scripts are basically the same? Um, yep. And, and mm-hmm. they were listing like the the you know I didn't come from the bingo halls and da 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 stuff uh, said by you know we've heard several times including right. most recently probably Randy Orton I believe right Randall so, Orton yes Randall yes. Randall yes Randall Randall I'm gonna say Randall he's being a heel I'm gonna call him Randall although the best was Eric Bischoff's podcast this week talking about how David Flair did it in reverse mm-hmm. where he started in the arenas and ended up in the bingo halls yeah. So yeah, apparently, right. apparently he himself would joke about this. So, okay. I mean, but I mean, it's 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 because WWE doesn't have a way of writing off characters. Yeah, yeah. Because they're employed for so many number of years. If you don't go off and do like movies and TV like John Cena, you're just kind of there rehashing every storyline you've ever done. Or hurt yourself um, taking out the trash. I okay. Yeah, I didn't know you were gonna end up with that, but yes. Mm-hmm. Also hurting yourself taking out the trash. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. and now I want to talk about SmackDown things because those are in that oof. we do yeah. need to, like a SmackDown recap show or something happening because there's isn't, some isn't stuff. that the mayhem show? 
no, because I don't watch it. So it's just like, what happened? Oh, that sounds cool. I'll watch it later. And I and I okay. catch it like Thursday or so. You know, okay. and then I'm tw- I'm live tweeting Sorg, like Sorg, Thursday afternoon, want. Friday afternoon, SmackDown. Sorg, if if you want, we could do like uh, the 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 podcast that AJ Sorgles built after Mayhem Underground. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to come up with a clever SmackDown name, but I, clearly I'm I not have sure failed. if it worked too well. Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Not a whole hell of a lot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, I'll give it an hour. I'll give it an hour. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. There's nothing Cause, I really cause, hated. Cause we we didn't mention it. The Elias stuff was pretty funny. The Elias, oh geez, the Elias stuff oh, and, was really and good. Should, yeah. And we should mention the Kevin Owens show. That was pretty okay. Funny. Okay, Elias was really good. Yeah. The documentary team, having filmed a show where there was a documentary team, and and uh, twice now, that got in my freaking way. I, I had flashbacks during it. Um, okay. Was he at one of those? No, he was not at one of those. What was the Adam Cole <laughs> one? That'd be really funny. That would be funny if he was. No, Adam Cole was at, w- at one of them. Matt Hardy and Bruce Pritchard were at the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah, for a uh, pilot that never got out there, uh, actually. And the other one was Anthony Bourdain when um, uh, Britt Baker and Adam Cole were in IWC uh, about a year ago for Super Indie. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, Braun Strowman. Oh, God. What? Wait, why are you oh godding this? I, you know, I was he thinking, doesn't need the briefcase. I was thinking today. Uh, well, I think it's kind of fun that we're playing keep away with it. Um, mm-hmm. I love the Kevin show. The Kevin Kevin Owens show came back. I yep. kind of loved, liked the new set. R.I.P. New Kevin Owens show set. Uh, uh, yeah. By the way, did you see Ginger stole DDP's real like real life gimmick? Uh, what did? Te- oh yes. Mantra and healing mechanisms to heal oneself. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now he needs yeah. to, to the part where he gets in trouble for um, um, selling a plan that's not a plan. Well, no, uh, no. He, he needs to he needs to market himself, Maharajoga. Hmm. Maharajoga. Hmm. And then you can have Jinder Mahal and DDP have a funny segment at WrestleMania. You know, I'm gonna listen back to that promo now because I need to see if there's any uh, low level cracks at DDP because he kind of got in trouble today too. Oh, there kind of are. Yeah. Are there? Like other well, than I mean, other than just like, the general like stuff, Ke- like Kevin Owens saying, like, "Oh, I couldn't get out of bed, but gender with your, with your, you healed me." Yeah, like it's literally every DDP yoga I've ever heard. Yeah, every yeah. DDP yoga commercial I've ever heard on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I love you. I love like, DDP yoga. yoga. I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually like DDP yoga. I've I, done it. I like it's, DDP. It's I like DDP yoga. But yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, he does do the infomercially thing. So I mean, you have to make fun of something like that. Yes, absolutely. Like, I, however, it does or doesn't work. As, yeah, exactly. So, well, now that we've completely murdered the idea of DDP Yoga sponsoring the Wrestling Mayhem show, um, we'll just go back to flashlights work. Yeah, I guess that's we'll always have flashlights. <laughs> Anyways, what was your official number again? I'm going. I'm going in two hour. hours. I, I have an hour. You have an hour. Okay. I have an hour because uh, I'm tired of. I don't need to see a handicap match with Rollins and Ziggler and McIntyre. Like, just, just I, tell me Dean Ambrose is coming back. I have a because problem. that's where this is going. I have a problem with Authors of Pain having singles matches for the last three. Oh, weeks. I have a problem with Authors of Pain not doing things and also that, not wearing matching gear. Yep. Well, they're they're doing they're doing this to indicate which one of them is wrestling. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I noticed. I noticed. I don't know. Is it Toka or Razor? I'm not sure. I, you know, um, Razor is the Razor is the wolf. Toka is the snapping. Turtle. That's right. That's right. Babies, they're babies. Now someone just needs to get like some goop in a Bart Simpson Dawn of a Cowman cup so we can get them <laughs> back you... to their original form, the Samoan SWAT team. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, on a quasi-related note, I did pick up Surf Ninjas for the Game Gear, as you should. And then I found out my Game Gear was broke. Mm. Oh, no. So I haven't played it for like a year. There was no indications, and it came up with the bad screen. Sorg, do you want me to see if my Game Gear works? I can mail it to you. Chachi already gave me his Game Gear, which is already starting to go and has no sound. Oh, no. Yeah. Right, I need I need to see if I can put new batteries in my game. Because, like, Sorg, I'm... Hold on. This just turned into another podcast. Wait, did you just... Wow! 
Wow, <laughs> that is impressive. It is under my computer. Remember when I used to just pull random hardware out from like 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 arm's length in this old studio? That was amazing. Sorg. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You got, you I got don't the, give a damn about reputation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got is, is it you got is it the Sonic 2? I got uh Sonic Chaos. Sonic Chaos. Oh Sonic, Sonic 2. Mortal Kombat. <gasps> Uh, Chuck Rock. Uh, oh, yeah. NBA Jam. Okay. And Sorg. I may just send you this anyway. <laughs> WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. And hold on. Do I have a game in here? How much do you want and for I, that? And I, and I have regular Sonic the Hedgehog in here. Jeez. Jeez. Anybody yeah. else would like to send me their old Game Gear games? Because... I... I like, may have to check and see if this still works. Oh, send me pictures. Yeah, send yeah me pictures. I'll, I'll, I'll have to check and see if this still works. Jeez. Anyways, now that we've turned into a whole other podcast, <laughs> thank you everybody who's joined us here. Of course, we're uh, Wrestling Mayhem show is going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Facebook Live. Matt Light of Black Craft Wrestling, and he likes and, to stun. And maybe, maybe have a few other things. What? What? Have, have you not heard? Oh, what else has he done? I know he was doing, like, um, Barstool. He, he may be going elsewhere pretty soon. Oh. That's what I've heard. Oh. Interesting. I'm going to have a very good yeah. conversation off air here. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, so there's that. So check it out, everything. Facebook Live, Wrestling Mayhem Show. This show, if you caught it anywhere else, of course, you can subscribe and not miss an audio cast. Uh, from this, hit, uh, look up the Wrestling Mayhem Show super feed on your favorite podcast place. Of course, everything's at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please support our friends at IndieWrestling.us, the latest Rise Wrestling show, uh, including uh, uh, Derek Direction, who's been tearing up the indies in Cleveland, uh, taking on the Reaper Matt Connard in his first title defense with the RWA Grand Championship. Friends of the show, Jinx and Laura Loveless battle, Bulk Nasty and uh, 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 Sean Phoenix. And uh, and 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 any in the first match I ever saw involving a calculator, um, not as a weapon, and, but in creative use, Magnum CK versus Lewis the Nerd. Go check out clips of that over the Indie Mayhem Show uh, Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. All those are up there, and you can check it out at IndieWrestling.us. Rise Wrestling, our good friends with a Y. Thank you, Mad Mike. Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter. Yeah, I'll be uh, tweeting about Lucha at some point this week, most likely Wednesday night. And, of course, I'm at Sorgatron. Check out all the rest of the podcasts at SorgatronMedia.com, including our new friend of the network, a part of the network, Occupy Pro Wrestling is a part of that as well. And look for some fun content from them, too. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep it raw.